welcome back to On Track TV. In this lesson, we are going to be building off what we were just talking about with blending layers, and we're going to be using our blending technique through paintbrushes. So this kind of allows you to choose specific details in your photo that you can then blend and change colors and distort in your image. So let's take a look at my Photoshop here. I have a photo of a cat, and she has some very bright eyes. And what I want to do is paint the color of her eyes to something a little bit brighter, maybe a blue or a green. So let me show you how using a blending paintbrush will allow that. The first thing that we're going to need to do is click on the paintbrush. So in your toolbox on the left hand side, it's right over here. And I'm going to click on the brush tool and then I'm going to choose my color and let's do, let's do a green, a really, really bright green, perhaps this green and click, oh, maybe a little bit darker, this green. Okay. Now, if I, if I look up here on my tool and the settings of my tool is what it's called I see that it's set up on normal so by default it's going to be on normal and what that means is that when I paint it's going to be like this and I have the option to change the size of my brush make it a little bit bigger but this is what it's going to look like all right so let's just edit undo we'll step backwards a few times and take those lines off of there but if I go into my eye on the cat and paint it that's not really what I'm going for right so what we need to do is we need to blend our paintbrush so that we can still get the black and white values in our image, but just make it green. So what you do is you go to the mode up here and we need to turn it on to blending mode. And at the very, very bottom, you have a many, many different blending modes. These are all different ones, but the one we're looking for is color. And so, like I said, it's going to keep the black and white values, the different shades, and it's just going to sort of change them to a color that you're choosing. So now that I'm set on color mode, my paintbrush is on green, I'm going to go over to the eyeball now, and I'm slowly just going to kind of color over into it. And as you can see, it's looking a little different now. So you can still tell that this is a cat eye. And I said, say I accidentally go over the pupil, it doesn't cover it, okay? It's still gonna stay black. So now it looks like the cat's eyes are maybe actually green rather than me just going ahead and changing that. Let me show you another example of when you could use this. I have here a picture of a very natural face and I wanna add some lipstick to her. So I'm going to choose a paintbrush color. Maybe let's choose a very, very hot pink uh, or a red, this red. Then we're gonna make sure we're clicked on paintbrush. We're gonna switch to color mode and we're gonna paint over top of her lips just like so. I'm gonna change the size of my paint of my paintbrush so that I can really get into the details of her lips like that. I can bring down the hardness so that it's a, kind of a blurred line on the edge rather than really outlining what I'm coloring in. I can make my paintbrush even smaller and I can go into her eyes up here. Fill all that in, the crease of her eyeball. Looks like she has a little bit of makeup on. Just like so. I would say the key is to make sure your hardness is really, really low down so that the line isn't too fierce. So let me just show you the difference. Th I'm gonna make my paintbrush a little bigger for this. So this is a very light hardness, whereas if I make the hardness really hard and I go back in, that's a dark hardness. You can kind of see a very, a very solid line, a very defined line of where the color is. And when you have very defined lines and it kind of gets a little trickier because you have to be precise of where you're placing the color. So that is how you can distort your images by using blending paintbrushes. It's basically just allowing you to color over things and change the color of things, but keep the black and white value so that the shades are still there and the image is still there. You can still see the crinkles in her lips and the shape of it, we're just changing the color. So thanks so much for tuning into this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.